I'm gonna put one of these what's so close? Oh, but you can see that. Wipe here also. For making a shelf, wipe the side also so that it's dark. This uh, shelf is actually the shelf is actually something else. A little bit of alcohol on it. Just it backwards. It's supposed to be the shelf of the toys, but we need it in the kitchen. It's already been decided already. What do you pay for the towel? Yeah, like that. Sigi, sigi na. Oh, wait lang. Hare. The chef's been put into these two panels because I don't have a big enough piece of MDF left for the uh, make a shelf. Now these are just being uh, put in with this brad nailer to hold it because it's all it needs this thing can be took apart again at a later time I can put a whole complete shelf in there I can do this and that that and this so I don't want I don't want that stuff to be like a permanent fixture in there my wife will be like put more brad nails no you don't need them that's what I'm doing now the other shelf will get uh, the existing shelf, which is actually a sideways shelf, but it's sitting up now. This was used in uh, my daughter's toy room, it was laying on its side. She still got the other one. We've well, got more shelves down there, so I could take this one. This cabinet will be eventually hung right there, right where that window's at, right across the top of that window. But right now it's not, and it's sitting on this thing that I built long time ago but it's slowly getting it's slowly been in this house still over a month so back home again gotta fix this place up gotta do those kitchen cabinets I took the trim off already the kitchen cabinets still good just got to uh, rip the trim off already and uh, I'll put another I'm gonna paint it and then put another trim back either paint it or put a uh, Thin veneer over it, I gotta decide. And then, uh, so there's a couple other things I gotta do. I'm gonna put one of these under this existing thing here. It's using a nailer. What's that nailer down there? A Brad, Brad nailer. Using an air compressor. The air compressor hose is like 60 feet long because I got it really long so I could take it places. And I'm taking it places. <laughs> one more. Now one more shelf to put up. I put up shelves. I don't put up as many shelves as I used to. Let's do put up shelves. <laughs> <laughs> where, to, where you want it? Measure. Sure. Yeah, it should be measure. Sure. Yeah. Half, half up that one. When you put a shelf, when you measure for a shelf, you always have to remember if the shelf is on top, 
But you know it is, Paul. It's be on the bottom. It's going to be on top. You have to allow for that height. Because if you don't, you'll measure up to up to the height of this, put it on, put this on, then wonder why something you stick in there bumps the top. But you didn't allow for this. You have to scoot it down. And it, uh, it won't bump. We put that here because we can't nail this one. So so this, one this one's nailed on the top. Oh, you did? Oh, he nailed it up. I didn't see it. But this is, uh, you have to have that support in there. Support in there. It's not going to have an elephant on it or my fat ants. What do you want? So do you measure that one half, half? Huh? Measure that into half. Is that 36? 35? 34, 34 and 3 fourths. And then just use 34, so half of 34. No, no. 34, 34 7, 17. Is that what it is? It's in high well, it comes to that high tech math, I can't figure it out. That's some high tech math. I just can't figure that out. So low? Way down here. No way. So it's 34. 34 divided by 2. Oh, 30 divided by 2. 15. 2 divided by 4 divided by 2. 17. Okay, we're going to put it right there where my eyes are looking. And then we put it here. Mm. Same. It's an optical illusion. Oh no. Alright. Higher. You're in the bottom. Hi. No, your technician don't. Right here? Mm, 17. It's fine. I'm going to raise the sun. I don't know why I need that because I just raised it. I'm not going to that thing. Oh, if you're going to use a label. If you're gonna use, if you're gonna use a label to label your shelf, you better make sure that this whole thing's level, because if this thing is crooked, the shelf is crooked, and then you label your shelf. When you label this, your shelf's gonna be crooked. So, if you're using a label, you're not measuring, but you're using a label to do this. Make sure that the cabinet is level also. You'll be in a world of hurt when you do level it because your shelves end up crooked. That's why that cardboard's down under here. Uh oh, my shelf. Can you reach them? I got a good and a bad, a good and a bad. So I put the uh, separating the good one in the front, the bad one in the back, and both. You really think this one is glass? It's not a glass. Yeah, it laminate. It's, it's a laminate laminating one. plastic. My husband laminate this one just the plastic. See? I'm gonna buy glass and put in it, but I never need because the laminating plastic looks good. It's better than the glass, and it won't break, and you won't drop it. Because I need that back one for the back. We come up this idea two or uh, three years ago. <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Instead of buying a glass, you buy a laminating, laminating Check this out. plastic and laminate it See, two pieces together. When, when you cut, when you cut things like this, feeding cabinets, you want to sneak up on the cut so you can get a good fit like this. See the whole thing? If it's straight across, it will hold in there. Back's a little wickety because this cabinet spread out and it took the top, but you'll fit it in there. And this one will be like this. Make sure it's level like that. Level? No level. Done a little bit. Done. Done more. Done a little. Higher. Done more. Okay, almost close. Okay, now put it up the other way. Okay, got it. Got it. Yeah. Six. 
secret uh, weapon. Is it still level? I can't see. It's fun. My head's and my brain's out in Arkansas. Pull the trigger, nailed my fingers to the side here. It didn't hit the bone, but it went to the side out this way. Good luck, so, it. And just my luck, it was a big long brag nail to it, so I had to pull it out with that muscle. It didn't, it didn't really hurt, but kind of it burned a little. It didn't hurt. So I pulled it back out, wiped it off, a little super glue on each side to walk up the hole, put back to work. Stuff like that happens, no reason to stop working. Just plug it up with super glue. You got it. Okay, he's done. This kitchen is not done yet because we still move this. We're still going to move around. this one. We're going to make. Work and be we're going to put that one on top of this. We're going to make a housing for this. This freezer. Then we put that cabinet on the top. The with the housing but we don't have the wood but, uh, yet. The housing is going to be the, like the same as this, the same color, same thing I made this, I don't you can see it, the same thing I made that shelf out of there, that's what I made that shelf over there out of, but the stove oven is what I made this out of, so it's going to be, look nice. We're going to make a housing for this because there's no space at all. And we can hang this one. It looks small, but this thing is a thousand pounds. I think <laughs> really heavy. <laughs> that thing's almost as heavy as my fat ants, but they still outweigh it. Still heavy. You know, they said that uh, the ocean level dropped. They said the ocean level dropped about uh, 50 feet, and I called the government and I told them that's because my two fat ants got out of the water. That's why it went down 50 feet. <laughs> I'm a woman, you're not showing. <laughs> so it's like that crazy. It was like the job using his fat ends. He made this one too. Sliding shelf. Put small stuff in here. <laughs> 